he had two really good at bats. Obviously, uh, the last one, the game winner, uh, and then he had a line drive, the base, uh, base hit to center field, both off left-handed pitching. So his approach against left-handed pitching much better. How how was it changed to uh, on that? Well, I think he's staying in better. You know, uh, he's on the ball a little bit deeper, and staying on top better, and staying above the ball. Coach, after giving up that run in the ninth, how was your team able to refocus, regroup, and then? Get well, it's, the it's re, you know a very resilient team. You know they're not going to panic at all, and uh, you know I think uh, you know we got a lot of character here, and they were pulling for each other. And, you know, you know we just we found a way to get it done tonight. And what do you think of the lineup being able to get a few more runs this game? Obviously, you had some early season struggles in game scoring, one, two, three runs, being able to get six this game. Well, I think our situational hitting has been very good. You know, we're working the pitcher, uh, you know, good. We're taking walks. Uh, we're going selective. We're doing a good job uh, getting runners on, getting them over, and getting them in. I think your lefty let good when passing a lefty. You mentioned staying on top of the ball, staying above it. Is, is that the key? You know, ready, ready, lefty, lefty. Is that? You know, when you look at good as that him for him like Yeah, you just want to make sure that you don't get too anxious and you know, start going out of the zone and, you know, making sure you work the count and get a good pitch to hit. And um, obviously you want to attack a fastball. You don't want to get yourself into a situation where you got to bait, battle the break and stuff against the left-hander. And I think you've been doing a good job of that. On that last game-winning run there with uh, Coach, I believe it was Coach Dillon, was at the yeah. third baseline. Yeah. Was that something that you discussed prior to that, that we're going on a single no matter what? Yeah, I mean, that situation, it's a send all the way, and Joe did a great job with it. You know, the, so there's some moisture out there, a little rain falling, and, um, you know, the ball is stung well, but you got to take a chance. And, uh, you know, if he throws them out and he makes a throw, it's, it's a great play on their part, and you still have another chance at it. And how do you get ready for the quick turnaround tomorrow playing an afternoon game? Well, you know, this guy, these guys prepare well, so uh, you know, they'll come out ready to play. Uh, you know, both teams have to do it, obviously. You know, winning this game tonight gives us some momentum going into tomorrow. You know, you always, your momentum is only as good as your starting pitcher, so we need to uh, have starting pitcher set the tone. Who's going Sunday for you? <clears throat> ready here. Were you just not out there tonight because you were sick, or do you give Joe the Well, you know? he was two for three out there during the National League Series. He won, he won two games during the National League Series. Oh, okay. So uh, we sent him back out there. Superstitious thing, or he's three and one now as a third base coach. Yeah, absolutely. You know, if it's working, don't fix. Don't if it's not broke, don't fix it type thing. But you, I would see you out there most of the time. Right? Yeah, I'd be out there most of the time. Yeah, National League Series, I'd be in the dugout because there's more, you know, more stuff going on from a strategy standpoint. Oh, so you break it down that way. So, so, yeah, it's a lot easier to manage, you know. From the dugout against the National League Series, I mean, it's, you know, the American League because of the pitcher hit and 